Hello and welcome to Step by Step with Miriam. In the short video I'm going to show you how to set up data validation. Data validation is a quick method of selecting cell information from a drop-down list. This is an excellent way to limit input error and also to save time while editing repetitive information. We require that only four departments, administration, kitchen, transport and office, will be the only allowable data under department in column B. Therefore, we would like to validate this data. The first thing we do is click on the data tab on the ribbon. Select the data validation command. Before we do this, we need to ensure the column B is selected. So click on letter B at the top of column B. Click on the down arrow for data validation. Select the data validation. In the allow arrow, select the list. I'm just going to move this little window across so that I can access my list. In the source line, click into the source line. This will be the source, the allowable data, which is this cell range from H2 to H5 and click OK. We have now set validation. Let's check. I'm going to click in cell A27 and type in a name. I'm going to put in a department called Dining, which is not on my validation list. As soon as I do, I get an error message. So I select Cancel. I can see an arrow just to the right. If I click on the arrow, my list appears. So I can select Kitchen. The data validation worked perfectly. It did not allow the user enter unacceptable data into the cell. However, the warning wasn't much help. An informative error message would be much more helpful for the user. To input an error message, let's have a look at the data validation again. Click on column B. Click on the data validation arrow in the data validation command in the data tools group. Select the data validation. Select the error alert tab. Select the title tab. We will type the title invalid data. and the error message, we will enter the text. You must enter correct department name. And select OK. Now we will try it again. I'm going to go back and type in dining. This time, the error message appears with you must enter correct department name. So I can select cancel and again choose from my arrow and select kitchen. What if the user is not familiar with all the department names? A more helpful warning would be more appropriate. So we will change the validation from advisory to mandatory. Again, we will select, before we start, column B. Then click on the validation, the data validation arrow on the data validation command in the data tools group. Select data validation. Select input message. We will select the title department. 
In the input message, we will type, you must enter transport, office, kitchen or administration. I will put only and select OK. Now we will go back down and enter dining. And as you can see, as soon as we try to enter, the message appears, department. You must enter transport, kitchen, office or administration only. And here you must enter the correct department name. This allows the user to have every help while entering the data. Data validation is an excellent way to ensure correct data entry in for information into your spreadsheet. Thank you for watching the short video with Step by Step by Miriam.